Hi everyone, I was asked by Muddy Boots whether I could uh, give an explanation about using the level. He did mention a theodolite, but I'm afraid there's a big difference between a level and a theodolite. And, I'll, and for now I'll just concentrate on explaining uh, the wonders of a level. This is uh, my jumpy level. I've had this for about 40 years. It, uh, the rule was you couldn't leave them on site in case they got stolen. So you took them with you in the car. Basically what we've got, say so this is a dumpy level because it's small, compact. The difference between that and other levels, and basically a theodolite, is that it doesn't have three screws at the bottom. And, um, with the, a three screw instrument, it, it does take a bit of time. There is a level. There, if I bring that nearer to the camera, see the level there. Adjusted up and down this screw here, and we can get it to go level. Here, uh, the level also has a mirror, so that when you look straight forward, you can, you can see the bubble within there. Look closer. And there you can see the bubble. Here we have the eyepiece at the back, which you turn a screw which allows you to see the crosshairs and because everybody's eyes are different uh, you get uh, something called parallax. So by adjusting that, it adjusts it to your eyes. And this one here, that focuses it, has a range of about two miles. Uh, and then down here we have a tractor graded off in degrees which you can lock this when it's locked you can then do a fine adjustment with that one. There's a spot level which is there and what you do with that is you get that bubble in the centre, just like a target, as long as the bubble is in there. The only disadvantage with this level is that every time you use it, you've got to look in the mirror and adjust the, the bubble. But apart from that, it's quick and it's simple and it's easy to use. We'll now attach the level to the tripod. Right. We uh, put this onto there, which has got like a, a ball. And using the central arm, you square the bubble in the centre of the circle. And using the central arm, you square the bubble in the centre of the circle. Move it round to where you want it to go. Just down. 
It's not about the focus. But the cross there is right. And I'm ready to take a reading. So the next step is the staff. Divided into ten, so you've got here one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, and each ten again is divided into ten, and it and the width of them is a, of the white is exactly the same as the black, so that the zero. 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5. And it's always the top that you um, you read on the stadium, on the level line inside the computer. You've got to add the computer, the, uh, the level, or even the field line, and it is upside down. So when you've given instructions to people, when you move down, you say up, move up a bit, up a bit. And you usually do this by going up, 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 down, down, down. And when you get near to the line, you go up a bit, and then just a twitch. And then it's, it, it, it's done. Um, now you can get the metric. I think the metric is actually easier to read because there's less uh, divisions, divisions on them. Um, but it doesn't matter. But these are as cheap as chips because uh, we don't make them anymore. And there's thousands of them out there. Nobody wants them except you and me. And you'll get one for next to nothing. I even give it away. Natural fact, when I wanted this one, I got the staff. I got the tripod and I got another level which I didn't need because I had a level already. And I got the whole lot for £30. And that is less than buying a decent stabilo level from uh, School Fix Director or uh, B&Q. So it's, it's not that complicated, but you don't even have to have one of these. You can do it using, as I sometimes do, uh, a close crop. You can just stand it there and you can mark on the crop where the level is, doing it up a bit, down a bit, till it's there, and then you can go and uh, work out the height of the instrument. That's the main thing that we're trying to do, work out the height of the instrument which is a technical term, is the line of correlation. So now we've learnt how to set the instrument up, the next stage is how we use it. Now before you rush off and look for your bucket and spade, uh, this, these levels are given by benchmarks and what you have to do is find the nearest one to you which is an example of one here. They used to be shown on Royal Ordnance Survey maps but as a cost saving exercise they've stopped doing this now but if you get onto their website tell them your area they will supply a list like this 
given the locations. So why am I telling you all this? You're not going to be putting in any drainage levels or sewers because it's good practice. If there isn't a benchmark available near you then set up a temporary one which is some object that is permanent. The whole key to the process is finding the height of the instrument and you can never set the instrument exactly the same next time or any time so you need this benchmark to refer back to which you give a name you call it 100 100 apples 100 feet 100 meters 100 bananas it doesn't matter you just call it something and then whatever you read you can subtract from that and you can check what levels you've got and set the instrument up and go back and continue doing work. When I'm working at home, like I'm working here now, for my benchmark I use a water stopcock box which is set into the pavement and it's always there. Now here you see me putting my pencil on and marking the line where the crosshairs are. Here are the marks I've made on the close prop. Uh, the one on the right is the lower level and the one on the left is the uh, near level and it, the distance measures 13 inches exactly. And that is the distance of the fall. The next step is to measure the distance uh, between the uh, two points and I got it to be 24 feet 10 and a half inches. Using uh, trigonometry you can then work out what the uh, true length is and the angle and from this information we can work out uh, the taper which in this instance is inch and five eighths and we now have a level board which we can use with the spirit level. Hope this has made it a bit clearer. It's difficult to put five years work into 15 minutes but I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and understand it. Here is a theodolite and I'm not even going there, but uh, please subscribe, I'm sure you'll comment, bye.